what's going on guys welcome back to another video so today i'm doing a tier list for the one piece english manga rares we've had 10 so far and i'm going to rate these and this isn't based on price if you want to see the prices maybe i'll chuck it in at the end and you know you can see which are the most expensive and which are the cheapest this is purely a tier list based off of my personal preference and that will include but my favorite characters and what i think about the artwork of the manga rare now it's probably going to be controversial because of that as it is just my opinion and some of my favorite characters are what aren't considered just maybe the normal favorite characters if you look at the prices of these cards and which ones are most popular so yeah let's see what this tier list ends up doing right so we are starting off with Zoro. i'm sure you know what all these cars look like because these images are very small um but we've got the Zoro manga rare to start with and you know he's an extremely popular character i do like Zoro, and i think the artwork on it is nice but i do think we're, we potentially could get a better one i feel like there's definitely room for improvement there i mean we're getting a new manga luffy and shanks in some of the upcoming sets um, not to say it's bad, but I feel like I can't just shove him in S tier because he's a popular character and the artwork's nice. Um, I think there's definitely room for improvement on the artwork. So for that reason, he's going in A tier. Now, next up, we've got Chopper. And Chopper is one of my favorite characters, so I feel like <laughs> that's quite uncommon and a lot of people would probably chuck Chopper Manga Ray in D tier or C tier. For me... One of my favorite characters i'm obviously not going to put him that low down um but i can appreciate you know the artwork it the artwork's cute makes sense for the character but again i feel like there's there's potential there for improvement on the artwork so for that reason he's not going into s tier just because he's one of my favorite i'm putting him in a tier because of yeah potential artwork that that could be improved maybe at some point i mean you have to compare it against the other manga rares some of the other artworks on these manga rares are just iconic for the scene and just the artwork and design in general um, which obviously you know comes from the anime for some of these right so there's nothing you can necessarily do about the design but you know it's you've got to compare against some of the other ones which i think are really really nice so next up we've got boa um you know it's a tcg this it's an anime it's based on anime there's waifus female character right these are normally popular people normally chase these kind of cards but for me i think i think she has to go and beat it you know i'm it's not like up there with one of my favorite characters but um also i'm not against this card like it's it's still a nice card the colors the you know the design i think is good is perfectly fine um but yeah for me i think b tier makes sense and next up we've got sabo again this one i think the black on the design for the character goes really well with the the manga panels in the background and then the colors the blue and the yellow um i think look, just work really nice so in time, terms of artwork i think it does a great job but in terms of character not necessarily up there with with my you know a favorite of mine so i think because of that i'm between b or i think i've got to go c just because the artwork's nice but yeah as i said character doesn't necessarily it's not like a character i'm going to look for collecting all of the cards of that character it's just not something i would do um but the artwork i do i can appreciate the artwork and the design of the card's nice Next up, we've got Soga King, and I just really, I just really don't like the character. Um, his first appearance, it just, I don't know why, it was just annoying for me. Um, maybe it'll grow on me, I'm, I still haven't quite finished the anime, right? So maybe I will come to love Soga King, but at the moment, I just really don't, I just really don't like the character. So I can appreciate the designs okay like it's not a bad design i think just because i don't like the character it's got to go in d tier for that reason which is a bit savage but there we go um he, i've put him down there that's where he belongs this is my tier list after all right so next up we've got kids 
again like that's not one I feel like I've got to be a bit ruthless, to be honest. It's not one that I'm going to collect myself. Like, I wouldn't look at collecting this. I put it... Yeah, got to put it in D tier. It's just I do not care for that card. I wouldn't go after it. Um, next up, Law. We... I think, I think again, the colours uh, work really well. We've got the yellow and blue. I think it looks nice as a card. Not... No, I don't... I'm really not sure. I think he's got to go where Sabo is, if I'm honest. I think I've got to put him in C tier. It's not necessarily one I would go after, but I can appreciate it looks nice. Um, next up, we got Ace. And I think when we were kind of on, I don't know, I think when up until like 04, 05 had come out, uh, before 05 actually, before we had the um manga rare luffy ace was actually my favorite out of the manga rares we had at the time um the, i think the design's amazing like it's just a really nice design um we've the, you know there's a lot going on on the card right so i just think the design's nice i really love the character i think for all that reason I've, i think i've got to put an s tier because it it was my favorite uh manga rare that the the, the PCG had up until the the manga Luffy came out the gear 5 Luffy um it's got to go in S tier it's it's got to go in S tier it's it's iconic the, the obviously it's not necessarily designed but obviously the the card artwork just it just looks great it just looks fantastic and I mean it's Luffy like it's 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 really good card and I think you can tell that from the price. It is the most expensive manga rare in English by far. Um, and next up, we've got the first manga rare we ever had, which is Shanks from OP01. Now, I actually pulled this. The first box I opened, I pulled this card. and I didn't even know if I got the right one. <laughs> I just wasn't sure. I hadn't really looked into it too much. I'm like, is this actually, have I actually just pulled the manga rare? I really don't like this card. <laughs> I really don't like it. And for anyone who's seen the second Shanks come in, to be honest, it's really not that different. Like nothing. Like he's just stood there on the card. Um, whereas, like at least these cards, um, a lot of them have things going on. Um, most of them do anyway. But the Shanks, I just, I know as a character, he's very popular. But and it was the first manga rare. But I just really dislike this card. He's, he's literally just stood there. And, and I just... I just don't like it. Um, so for that reason, I think I can't just chuck it in D tier because... You know, it's... <laughs> because of the character. Like, I feel like he holds... <laughs> like, if I had to pick Soga King or Shanks, I'm going to pick Shanks, right? But in terms of the manga rare, I think it's got to go in C tier for me purely based on the fact that I just really don't like the the, the card itself the design the, the you know the image they've used for Shanks on this card I just think it's it is one of the the most boring manga rares we've got in terms of design um you know even Soga King it, like it just there seems to be like more going on it seems nicer as a design but yeah, I've, I've got to prioritize him a little bit just because of the character. You know, I really don't like Soga King. But um, yeah, I mean, that's my tier list. It's probably a little bit all over the place compared to maybe what you expected. But yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Is this just a, an awful take? Have I just ruined your day? I hope I haven't. Um, so yeah, if I didn't, please hit like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.